Welcome back. The pike I'll be talking about today is Indian Springs State Pike of the historic Highlands region. Indian Springs is in the city of Florilla in Butts County. This pike is roughly halfway between McDonough and Forsyth, a few miles off I-75. The Indian Springs are natural mineral springs that the pike describes as having a unique sulfur smell. For hundreds of years, they were believed to have healing powers. In 1825, the state government wanted the land inhabited by the creeks in this area. Creek leader Chief William McIntosh signed a treaty giving some of the creek land to the state. Some of the creeks viewed the treaty as fraudulent, so they killed Chief McIntosh. After the state took control of the land, Landlot Number 1 was set aside as a public recreation area. This lot was just 10 acres, but included the springs. This makes Indian Springs the oldest state-owned recreational area in the country. As time went on, the springs became popular with tourists. This picture shows the Indian Springs Hotel. The hotel had been built by Chief William McIntosh in 1823, and is the only 19th century Mineral Springs Hotel remaining in the state. Today, it sits just outside the park, and is currently a museum. In 1927, the site was officially designated a state forest park. In 1931, the Georgia State Park System was established, and Indian Springs and Vogel State Parks became the first parks in the system. During the Great Depression, CCC Camp 459 was established in the park. The young men of this camp helped build much of the park's current infrastructure. One of the most notable things that they built is the spring house, where visitors can still drink from the spring. Today, Indian Springs State Park has grown to 528 acres, and is home to a museum, a large event center, along with camping and hiking opportunities. Thank you.